All right, welcome back. And if you've just joined us, you're watching DG360, and uh, we're looking at uh, the Edo State governorship election. Of course, the election has come and gone, and there's a winner, and that winner is the incumbent governor, uh, Godwin Obaseke. He's going to remain governor for the next four years, after which, of course, he would leave the stage because he would have completed his second term. And I have uh, Libro Sushoma, a political affairs analyst and a lawyer with me here. I also have another political affairs analyst, uh, Nelson Okujimi, who is also who was also an observer at that election. Gentlemen, thank you for continuing to stay uh, on, on on the program now. Thanks Let's take me. a look at um, the, 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 the results now and, and try to do some analysis to help our audience now to understand. That's the outcome of the election. Uh, the difference between both men, quite huge, I must say. 84,366 yeah. is quite huge. I, for one, never imagined that the, the, the margin was going to be that wide for either of the candidates that was going to win Absolutely. the election. So it, it's a big surprise and clearly showed. Uh, that's the reason why the, the governor and the winner of that election must be holding his head quite high. Let's look at um, the, the turnout now and the, the registered voters. Uh, Lib Liberals, you take a look at the registered voters. In 2016, uh, less number of people. That's understandable. This time, 20, 24 years after, uh, a lot more well, people would have registered. Plus. Yes, so 400. And, but at the end of the day, you look at the total vote cast. In 2020, uh, 558,242 uh, compared to 2016 when 613,000 244 uh, voted. And do not forget, 2016 was actually a second term election for the incumbent governor then, Adam Sushomale. Not even a first term. So yeah. usually second term election, you know, usually not so charged. But uh, of course, unless you have drama like, like what we yeah. had in the last election. Then in 2020, you look at the build up to this election, uh, the, the drama, political drama, the threat of violence, you know, Everything, the intrigues that went in, the way the Edo people spoke, you know, the kind of reactions we got. You would have thought everyone was going to come out for uh, this election, but it didn't turn out that way. Two things, two things um, played out here. Uh, the build up to the election. In fact, almost, you know, including the international community, were apprehensive that um, Edo might boil over. And that's the reason, of course. I, yeah, I know that's, that's the reason why the U.S. So, decided to impose so for some those bans and all I, of that. I'm also, I'm also aware that there were some persons who also ought to have traveled back to vote, who decided to stay back, who went to vote in 2016, but for fear of what might happen because the threat were not that obvious in 2016, but for 2020, for fear of what might happen, they decided to, decide to stay back. So, and then there are also some people who also, you can't rule out the fact that who decided, well, I won't even come out, I won't bother myself because the way the drums, this uh, candidate have been beating the drums of war, coupled with the fact that there are also, also a third set that feels, look, I had expected a third force. But here we are, you have two candidates who were on the opposing side, and then 2020, they just switch camp. So why should I now go out and begin to select among, you because know? It's still so the so same if, you person, take out, if you take out those people, and that's why you'll find out that you arrive at this, at this number, because in 2016, it wasn't that, um, it, it, was, it was like these two candidates were coming afresh, contesting for the first time. And then 2020, all of a sudden, the same people you said were the best uh, four years ago are no longer the best. And those you, 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 you said you criticized vehemently and now, you know, the alternative. I was only going to look, we are confused here. There's no need even bothering. Let those that want to choose, uh, you know, take, make a choice of it. N Nelson, what do you think? Because some people will tell you, well, it, it's, it's actually a shame that in a state where the population is about... Five million plus, yeah, yeah. and then you have two over two million people registered yeah. as uh, voters for that state. Only 550 got to choose who becomes the governor of that state. Well, like you rightly said, the factors that was responsible for that uh, this low turnout compared to the 2016 election could be attributed to the build up to mm. the election, the fear of violence. Also, don't forget, like you rightly said, that's a very valid point that you know some people were frustrated or they became despondent that oh. Is this same two guys again? I voted in 2016, so there's mm -hmm. no need. We don't also forget that the a party, one of the parties, the APC, came into that election divided right from it. So yeah. there was this likelihood that some of its supporters you know, would have just. Back. The, the APC actually went to that election a divided house because let's not also forget that. Look, 
the APC itself as a party, quite a lot of the members did not go with Eze Yamu. I mean, they, they remained, they didn't join the PDP, but they, they remained, remained the party. Yes. They remained on they the fence. But there was every likelihood that they supported uh, the, the, the governor. The yes, governor. yes, yes. And then absolutely. the last mega rally for APC did not, know, hold. Did not hold. I'm just that because of those interests. Yes. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the next slide now. Um, well, both men, <laughs> that, that's what we're saying. So, two, the same faces. <laughs> <laughs> same faces in 2016, different parties, parties, and this time they just switched uh, parties. Same faces in. It, so some it, some people essentially just got turned off. It's by like this. a drama. Yes, it's like a yeah. Drama. Because if you look at if we look at the numbers in in 2016, the the margin wasn't that wide. Wide. About for 20 for 20 um, uh, 20. The Obaseki, I would hear, because it would be confusing for me now, the parties. It's not confusing yeah, because yes. <laughs> you know, you, it's, so it's, it's a bit confusing, actually. In 2016, yeah. if you look at the numbers, Obaseki mm. maintained, you know, almost the same numbers in 2020. Mm. In 2016, he, she, he got uh, 319,000. Uh, uh, 319, in 2020, got three, three he got 307. Barring, you know, those mm. that abstain from voting. But for... Um, Isayamu, yeah, Isayamu. in 2016, while he was in PDP, he got 253,000. About in 2020, when he was in there, he got 223,000. Because, because his vote was actually the one that reduced further. Because, you know, mind you, we just talked about the division in APC. Mm, APC. And, you know, so, and so you find that people, some of these people actually, some of these people actually that I spoke to said, look, we were told that this man, you know, is the devil we shouldn't touch. And but, but today, but, but hold on. There's, no, there's no, no, well, let me let me yeah, let me. That, in, but today, they are saying that he is dissent. I'm a party man. Rather than go vote for another party, I would rather abstain. I, there, there were some people I spoke to like that. I said, look, I would rather not vote. And so and that, that of course that reduced this yeah. number. Now, now there's something I want to ask before this election. Um, Isayamu was projected as a grassroots man, as someone who knows everybody in that state. As a matter of fact with connections and tentacles in both political parties. Yeah. Don't forget, he had been in the APC before he defected he to, the to the PDP and then came back. What do you, because it was on the basis of his popularity and the fact that he is more of a grassroots politician that a lot of people predicted that he was going to win the election. Yes, so is, what, what happened? That is difficult to explain. That is why we need to go and you know, study that. Because even before now, if you recollect that in 2016, when Obaseki came out, Obaseki was a technocrat rather than a politician. But mm. Izeyamu has been a politician all this while. Yeah. So you expected that he would pull the crowds. But unfortunately, in this election, even in his local government, you saw that he lost to the... Yeah, uh, I am candidate. telling you, it's, and I told you just now you disagree with me. I am telling you that the Oshomole factor... Hold on. Some of hold the on. Do not to no, the election. Hold on, hold on. Libros, mm. hold on. I accepted the Oshomole factor. But yes. I'm saying... On the basis of his own personality, personality Ize yeah, yeah. Iyamu, That's who I'm, has never traveled out of a door yes. has allow never me. held any position. Allow has, me. Yeah. People said, I like With this the connections man. he I has like, in I, the PDP as well. No, okay, like, let, let, let me take my community, for example. I have a lot of people who felt, look, I like this man. He's my friend. I, the PDP, one of the PDP um, stalwarts said he's been Obaseki's friend for years. How about that? He's, he's finding it difficult to resolve the Oshomoles, you know, shadow no, around no, him. I, 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 won't, so I, won't, that, I won't dispute that, but we that, also cannot dispute the fact that money counted for a lot of people. In yes, that money counted, definitely. In Nigeria, election, anyway, it's about money. Be, because of time, and let's so if APC, if APC governors did also, were, were also not solidly mm -hmm. behind it, no matter the relationship that he would have with people, if on the day of election, and the truth is that nothing comes out. If if the APC governors were not behind him, and we know they were actually not behind him, they were not. Him, they were not. Uh, it means they were not going to make any financial funds contribution. Available funds funds available, uh, and there was no way Osaji, Ize, Yamu, and Oshomale alone pull could pull the kind of resources you would require. Yeah. And that's why, if you ask me, even their campaign did not gain traction as such. At you know? all, even, even the, the, grand, to, the grand campaign yes, that failed did to not take place. Also, had a telling the president the did not go there. The vice the governors president. Don't that was a clear sign that um, things they were on their own. Well. Yeah. yeah. So let's look at the senatorial districts now. Uh, Edo Central, uh, Libros, you, you said it. 
everyone knew the contest was going to be yeah. in Edo Central. Yes. And both candidates Edo from Edo, Edo, Edo South, sorry. Edo South. Both candidates from Edo South. South yes. And then everyone also felt, look, this candidate, Osaji Eze Yamu, even though didn't have the, 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 the incumbency factor, you know, uh, working for him, but that he was a grassroots politician. But you look at Look at was, look at the difference. No, but, but for me, in, no, in Edo South. If you look at even the figures in Edo South, I would say, con considering the number because of because look at he won, he, he, he lost in Edo, Edo South, South but, in twenty sixteen. The gap was yes, not much. Yes. That's, 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 yeah. that's that's what I was I've been explaining. That if you look at the number of the voting population, sixty percent of the voting population in Edo State are Come in Edo, Edo South. South yeah. yes. You have about. Um, 22 or 23 in the donut, donut and yeah. about 17 here and so if you look at the figures if you look at the figures you can't really say that this will represent 60 percent of all of this vote so what it means is that the voters in Edo start also did not turn out no no accepted that's accepted. one yes. that's turnout one. was low everywhere then yeah. secondly secondly for Edo south here which is the is more metropolitan than other part of um, the state you also would have expected that, you know, PDP, he's been a PDP, all of this, why so we put more numbers in 2016 than... About here, money plays a lot of factor, factor. in metropolitan, politics. you know, politics. Yeah. And so, you're, you're, you're quite your right. people ordinarily would wait for you in nine before election, you know, so or that they can reach out, day. so that they can reach out to grassroots. But in the absence of that, it, because if you look at the numbers, even the candidate of the PDP, who was the candidate of the APC the there, even his numbers dropped. Uh, his numbers increased, because, sorry, yeah. from 2016, where he won. Yeah, yeah he in, won. In 2016. He had 53, but the number went in, up, yeah. He, here, the number went higher than he, the numbers he had in 2016. 20, yeah. hmm. Because when you have a united force, and your people also are on ground, definitely... And you have the funds. You have the funds fund also. Fund, yes. Definitely your numbers will go up. And then when you now have a few people who are sympathetic to you, and then once the result produce a desired candidate, the tendency for us to forget all of those other uh, smaller issues that happen will be very, very bad. Nelson, would you say uh, Oshomola redeemed himself here because he won, at least well, he got his, his senatorial district, the, his well, part, the you, you could Well, you could also say that the deputy governor of the uh, PDP also pulled his weight there. Yeah. Because yeah. if you compare the 2020 mm. to 2016, yeah. you can yeah. see that the gap in 2016 was much but here in 2020 because of all these factors it closed up you know, it closed up so that is why we have this uh, mind you money also played a factor here. no there's no doubt about money it. also played money a was a major f so that our listeners percent. will not think that um, we just looked at south and no, then, no, 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 you know no. it played ev in everywhere but this area central. the central is predominantly a pdp area because of and and lawrence and, and, and and tony and nelly's yeah. factor yeah. but also if you look at if you look at the the numbers here in, in the, they just switched. But could we also just say, the sorry, a, apart from the fact that Edo Central is uh, predominantly yes, PDP, well, could, could we can... also say that the people there were actually calculating that, look, if Obaseki won the yes, election, yes, he yes. was going to do one term, and that the chances they, they all said it. It was the unanimous. coming to them. The, that no, permutation was, was also... Yeah. No, it was unanimous That permutation was also right. It was you. unanimous yeah. that, that, look, they don't care. might likely produce the they next don't, governor. Yes. To them, if this man did just one term. To them, yes. they don't care. But what they want is don't the forget governor will do just four terms. Four, the, four yes. yeah. the people with these permutations are the elites. The mass of the people who came no, to even the, the masses. No, just hold even on. The, the mass of people who came to the polling stations were more interested in what they could Mind get. Mind you, the Omojo of Urumi. The Omojo of Urumi. Urumi is the headquarters of Edo Central. The Omojo of Urumi was suspended by Oshomole, you know, in 2016 while he was leaving mm. office. You know, that also played a key, a factor, key factor in this election. If you look at the APC, the numbers for the APC, in, in this, this is the two places where the election was won and lost. lost yeah. Edo Central and Edo South. Yes, for the APC in 2016, okay. if you look at the it's figure, it's 49,000. Yeah. But the PDP it's maintained rough. their 60,000 in 2016 and in 2020, yeah. while the APC figure dropped from 49 to, to, to 34. To 34. Okay. So by the time you put all of these figures no, up here Lebrous, and up there... You said the uh, honorable of Urumi was suspended yes. by Oshomole. Yes. But don't forget, this was at the three lights 
of Oshomole's exit. Yes. And look at what APC pulled in that, that That's what I'm saying. At that time, Oshomole was the governor. He was the governor. He was the governor. Had more funds. Oh, yeah, exactly. more funds yes. Had more funds. Yes. I mean, them. We, look, let's, let's tell ourselves the basic truth. Money plays... Money plays 60% or 70% of the... So, so, no, but next thing, in 2016, let's, let's take you a look. agree that um, money played a factor. No, oh, as we said it now. We said... So, we, across the, the, we went to ac the, across the, the local there, government right? areas... Uh, now, while we're taking these three local government areas, they, they matter so much because um, the governor, the governorship candidate of um, the PDP, Godwin Obaseki, you know, it's I, sometimes <laughs> I just I, I, I want to say Obaseki of the APC because <laughs> it's, 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 it's it could be drama. very confusing because just a few uh, moments ago he was yes, in the APC, APC and then so. The, uh, candidate you, you, can, Baseki you can of the say they are both in AP, APDP. Let me just say, candidate <laughs> of Baseki, of course, is from this area. That's that local government Oredo, area. Oredo. Uh, uh, Oredo, and he got 43,000 mm -hmm. plus. Uh, even though, even though uh, Ize Yamo is not from here, but he's very well known here in Oredo. Yeah, he's lived there all his life. Orion and Oredo, I mean, That's it, in it's, City. it's yeah, still yeah. Benin City. And in Orion, quite surprising, Ize Yamo lost his local government area. What could have happened? Yeah, you want his you, own local government you, area. You, 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 you know, for the people, they will tell you, oh, yes, um, the people uh, rejected um, theirs. But we also know that if the funds didn't get to who it ought to get to, as yeah. at when it should come. Now, and then, secondly, we also cannot rule out that fact, the factor of this man was in PDP. Yesterday. In the last election, yesterday and today, today is in APC. APC, and the governor is saying, or Shomole is he wants to be godfather, so he wants to use this man consistently. And also, maybe, maybe if we look so at all of maybe, that, when you put and, all and of that together, maybe, maybe if we look at 2016 result, we could say, well, it's understandable because yes. they were neck and neck. neck, neck, neck. neck so yes. Orion was always going to be very close to call, yes. but Oredo, this man won it. I mean, clearly, the, in, uh, yes, uh, 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 in, the Isaiah Yamu won it in, yes, in, um, in, 2016, in, in 2016, yes. but he lost woefully. He lost in, now, uh, mind you, mind you, Oredo is Benin City. Yeah, that's that what is I'm the saying. local he, government. He won it. He won it in 2016. That, that is the local government that has the, the governor. The, the, what this shows you clearly. But there was, the a, there was an APC governor here in 2016. Who was, who was from this local government yeah, but, but in 2016? But the, the APC lost a red woefully. That's we, as, as, as it at is that the, time. It is the, uh, the availability of funds. That's what determines. Apart we can from, take that as apart the from the funds of the figures. In 2016, the sitting governor was from Isako West. West, yeah. He was not a Benin man per se. Yes. But in 2020, you have you have a Benin man who is from Oredo in office and who also has has his boys, his commissioners, his um hangers on but all the, don't forget the legislators that were not inaugurated. Yeah, all I, 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 und I understand your point. Also Oredo. Yeah. And if you're talking about funds also, these people occupy his office. You are you are more certain, you are more certain to negotiate with a man. Who is in office? Who has largesse to distribute you're, you're right. than a promissory note? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> because honestly, I, I if I were in their position too, and I had to do, I had to choose between a man who had the largesse on the table and someone who was going to offer me a promissory note, I think I would accept. Yes, that. you accept the one who is in office I I because he that. has a, well, you know, the part on negotiating. Let's immediately. just quickly wrap up now because um, that, that's how much we can take. Very quickly, um, what do you think is the task before Governor Basic? A lot, a lot. Like I said, um, the uh, election, the campaigns were largely, you know, about godfatherism and less about, you know, um, infrastructural development. I laugh when I hear, oh, he built judges' quarters, he renovated stadium and sectariat. You know, that's not what I want to hear when a governor talks. You don't want to hear what have been your input in terms of creating employment. Uh, they talk about I do best. I've really not seen, you know, when I look and, and at the now schools. He's got four years. You now you have another much, four years. Four so years. most of these promises that you have made, including the fact that they call him MOU governor. Now it is time to, for him to actualize those, those MOUs, MOUs that he has signed. He has signed. Nelson, well, I think the, the time for the task before uh, Governor Obaseki is for him to heal the wounds that you know pervaded the pre 
and the election period. They are criminals. I was, I was quite surprised actually when uh, one of the first few statements he issued was that if Oshoma didn't behave himself, that was 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 that and those that didn't vote. I, I, those I that voted for that was, him and those that, that didn't wrong. vote for him. But the good thing is wrong. that I think um, somebody must have told him because the next day when he was getting his he certificate, certificate of return, return yeah. the tone yeah. changed. Uh, yeah. mm. and, and then it's also important to me that the governor should try to listen more to himself than listen to people, t you know, side talks. No. Because that's, uh, no, that's I think, part I of think, the problem. Yes, if it, listen to himself when he talks. He should, he should sometimes go back, play back some of some the things he has he said, said to caution him when Ness is yeah. talking. But if it's about listening too, to people, too many side talks. no, but if it's they, about they listening to, to people, he should listen more to people because one of the, one of the, no, when, when I say listen to people, okay. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I do not yeah. mean he shouldn't listen to people. Yeah. I'm yeah, saying, you know, listen side to this side yes. talks. People coming no, to tell no, you, you that man, is, that man is that. No, you shouldn't listen it, to side talks. It doesn't help him. You take advice. You should take advice. Yeah, absolutely. You should take advice and because it doesn't help him. Well, we just hope the Edo people have actually made the right choice and that they get a better deal this time. Um, well, we just keep our fingers crossed and see what uh, Governor Basaki does in the next four years. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's just four years he's got. And with the way politics is played in this country, effectively, he's got just about two or three years to deliver yeah. the goods. Because two the years. third year, it's campaign always the year for politics. As a matter of fact, by the second year, the campaign for Immediately his Immediately after inauguration, they start uh, just exactly. for... So let's just hope the Edo people get a better deal this time. It's on that note... We end the program. We want to thank you very much uh, for watching. Libros, thank you very much for coming on the program. And thank you for your very incisive analysis. Uh, Nelson, thank pleasure. you too for your observation. Uh, and thank you for your contributions as well. We, we wait. And uh, the next election is in Edo State is in 2024. 2024. Yes, 2024. So we'll wait and see how that goes. Well, that's it on the program. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.